You are watching Content Wood Candace. In today's video, I will feature my fourth coach studio unboxing. If you like this type of content, please like, comment, and subscribe. And please share the video with those who you know will enjoy the content as well. Okay, you guys, let's get into it. Before we get into the unboxing on today, guys, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on the unboxing because this is the fourth one. I just want to quickly unbox it with you, allow you guys to see what's on the inside. But before we get into the unboxing, I just want to say thank you to all of the sweet students in the sixth grade who gave me little gifts and happies. I really appreciate it. I uh, left one of my cups at work. It was so unique. I just want to have it displayed at my job so I could see it every day. It's, it's amazing how much the students pay attention to you. They gave me snacks, which they know I like to eat. I appreciate the food <laughs> because that's my thing. I like to snack on nuts, drink water, and fruit. And I just brought this on as a sample. One young man gave me a big bag of popcorn. And uh, was determined he looked for the best water he could find. And I just really appreciate that so much. Some of the kids gave me chocolates and turtles. And I just, just, just amazing. They did a great job. I got uh, cups to drink out of. Got a beautiful cup. And then when I opened this cup, there was uh, candy on the inside, you guys. I mean, it was like diamonds on the outside of this cup. It was so pretty. So, But I'm really, really impressed. You can see all the water is gone. Um, I thought that was really sweet uh, that they did that. This cup is amazing, you guys. It is... I don't even want to drink out of it. It's so nice. But anyway... Um, it's one of those hot or cold cups, and then it has the hot or cold straw with it. Um, and then it has the little message on the front there. I thought that was very neat. And then you can tell when some of your students watch your channel, because she even gave me a pouch. And I will be using this. It says, Teach, Love, and Inspire. And I thought that was really, really nice. So this will definitely come in handy. In fact, I'm going to put it in my pouch drawer right now because the next bag that this fits into, it will be used. Okay. Just went into the drawer. Now let's get into the unboxing. This is the box, you guys. And here's what it looks like on the outside. If I had to guess, it probably came from a store. I'm not sure if they're trying to get out rid of their store inventory or like i said before in a previous video oftentimes when the bags go on sale they're not going to be the bags that were shipped from the warehouse they're going to be those bags that uh were already unpackaged whatever the case may be i just hope that coach is really paying attention to the returns because i just i returned three of these bags you guys and this is my fourth one, and the reason why I returned the third one, let me just put in a little clip right here so you can see that. Hello, you guys. There looks to be a mark or a tear on this bag, you guys. I don't know if it's, this looks like a imperfection in the leather here. So, unfortunately... <clears throat> This may be a return. It's very small, though. It's not something that you're going to really pay attention to at first sight. But like I said, when I purchase my items, it goes through a very thorough inspection mm -hmm. process. So I'm a little bit concerned that that is going to turn into a bigger problem later on. There's two reasons why I returned the third one. The first reason is uh, it looked as though part of the leather was chipped out. It was a very small place, but it looked as though someone had put a chip in the leather on, on, on the front side of the bag. 
think it was the front side. I'm not sure. But anyway, the end. So I want to show you that clip here. And then the other, the main reason I returned the bag, the other reason is the fact that the glazing was a little loose in a small area. So I want to show you that. And I actually put my finger on it just so you can see it. Okay, guys, here's another little imperfection. You can see the glazing is loose from the seal here. So unfortunately, and of course, that's not the way it's supposed to be. So unfortunately, this bag will be a return. These little minor details can easily be missed if you don't pay attention and inspect your bags and items carefully before you know for sure that whether or not they're keepers. But I love this bag, you guys, so I was willing to reorder the fourth time. Uh, hopefully, I will get a good one this time. Or maybe I will get blessed with one that's a uh, factory package. Who knows? We shall see. Uh, I just figure if I can order other bags three or four times, just so you know, this bag here was ordered five times. This is why I say a Lulu. I ordered it five times. So that was ordered five times. And my denim puffer was ordered. This is the third one I got. So I will be sharing those stories later on my channel. But anyway... Um, so this is the fourth coach studio unboxing. So we're going to go ahead and open it up so we can see what we have on the inside. I don't know what's going on with coach lately. It looks like they're shipping from stores or something. Maybe they're trying to get rid of their store inventory. Who knows? But you can tell this is shipped rather quickly. I want to say I ordered this Sunday, and today is Tuesday, so they got it out fast. Let me see how I get into this box. Okay. So here's what it looks like on the inside. Looks a little rushed this time. There's the uh, packaging and the sticker. That don't matter, guys. What matters is what's on the inside, right? I'm going to put the box to the side. So here's what I received. I got this. Yeah, I definitely want to, if I had to guess, this came from a store. Got one of these little small ones. And got this paperwork folded up like this. Just like this. Let me see what this is. Yeah, this definitely has come from the store, no doubt. It says it came from Kansas City. Kansas City, Missouri. From Kansas City, Missouri. The store in Kansas City. That's what the shipping uh, label says. But it says it came from Kansas City. And this is the way I received it. Just like this in this dust bag. Okay, so I'm already seeing, just just from the first inspection, scratches on the front here. Scuffs and scratches on the front right here. Let me show you that. I'll try to get it to where you can see it. Hold on. This one was an extra 15% off, but you see that? There's a scratch there, and then there's another scratch right here. I'm going to put my finger on it there. See that? And then we're going to move down here. And there's another scuff right there. See that? Okay. And who? And I, I don't even have to look at it anymore. I already know it's going back. So this is definitely not a keeper. Okay. So this is the fourth one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And please share the video 
with those who you know will enjoy the content as well. And thank you so much for those of you that have already subscribed. I really appreciate it. We're currently now at about 683 subscribers. Our little family is growing. Yay. Thank you for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.